for the sign of Aquarius. Hello and welcome to my channel. Like all the aces, they're about new beginnings. And although it usually means love, it usually means love, it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life too. Things will start to look up. People will respond to you with happiness, love, goodwill, more than usually coming up in June. And you should be feeling really good about life in general. So it's going to be a great time to make friends. So yeah, you got some great, some great new something coming in. If it's not love, it's a great opportunity. But the Ace of Cups, it usually means love. Um, it's with the Ace of, Ace of Wands. Now the Ace of Wands... It's about new beginnings, very positive new beginnings. It could be in the the realm of accomplishments and it could be related to work, career, could be family, but some type of new beginning could be romance. Um, and if you're having a difficult time now, just know that things are about to get better really soon. I say really soon because this one, it's in the clouds, up in the sky, and it looks like it, it's just not sitting up in the, above the clouds, but it looks like it burst really fast and sharp right through the clouds. So things are about to get better very soon. This card is about being upbeat, optimistic, very hopeful about your future with a good cause. So. You're likely to be feeling quite energetic and positive. Or, like I said, you will be feeling that way really soon. Now is also a good time to start something new. So basically for the present time, beautiful, two aces. Like I said, this ace of cups, you could have a deep attraction for the person. You could start to have a deep attraction for the person that you're already with. Um, you'll start to experience more warmth. Or, there's a new love, a new person coming in with the Ace of Cups. And it brings about a new beginning with the Ace of Wands. So, if you're already with someone, the connection will undergo a new, it will feel like it's undergoing a new beginning. And the connection could rise to new levels of intimacy understanding so like I said this could go either way a new love or a reconnecting with the person that you're already with and it brings about new beginnings great new beginnings wonderful Aquarius so let's move on over for now and take a look at how they see you the person you're dealing with sees you as temperance and the death card now temperance with this card, your relationships are likely to be going quite well, but you may need to look at some deep personal issues if you have any and see if they're standing in your way. And if they are, figure out how to work through them and integrate them because the ideal is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself and in your relationships and your goals and aspirations. So they see you like the temperance needing to find balance. Or they could just see you as wanting a peace of peace of mind. Now, because it's with the death card, just keep in mind this death card it does not necessarily, or even usually, indicate physical death. In fact, it's considered irresponsible for readers to predict physical death because we're all creatures with free will, and such things they're not written in stone. This card, it simply indicates transformation and change. This is definitely a time of deep transformation, likely to be both internally and externally in your life. Some situations, things, and people that you have counted on or have gotten used to, they may no longer be available to you in quite the same way as they once were. Just know that this transition, it can be a difficult time for some people, but the change is nearly always needed. 
So they see you going through some type of deep transformation. They could probably feel like you're no longer the person that they once knew, or you're just different from, you're different, you're changing, you're no longer like you used to be, or different from the person that they first met when you first, when you guys first got together. Some type of deep transformation they see you going through, and they see that it's bringing you a peace of mind, or you could be, they could see you wanting a peace of mind, and that could be why you're transforming. Um, this death card could also mean that you're letting go of an old attitude. Maybe you come to some type of conclusion, finality. So something deep is going on here and they see it. And like I said, they can see that it's bringing you a peace of mind or you, you're needing to find balance or you're finding balance through this change. So let's move on over. Let's take a look at how you see them. Now you see them like the King of Pentacles and the Devil card. Now this King of Pentacles, it speaks about success and money matters. Because when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that's cash, coins, finance. So when this card appears, it's a sign that now is really not a time to be a maverick. It's the time to follow the established way of doing things. So when he stands for an actual person in your life, it's referring to a very masculine type. Could have hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. And if, it's re if it is referring to an actual person in your life, just know that this is a person that you can, yes, you can believe in and trust absolutely. And this is one of the ways you see them. King of Pentacles, they want success in this connection. They want to secure it, make it committed, possibly. Yeah, this King of Pentacles is very, it's a stable type. Or you can see them wanting to bring stability and focus on this connection. That's how you see them. But you see them with this devil card, devil. Now the devil card is about addictions, devil energy. So when you get the devil card, no matter what your situation, just know that you always have options to choose from. First things first, don't let, don't let other people tell you that your options are limited. If you come to that conclusion, be sure you come to that conclusion on your own. Regardless, it's going, to be, it's going to be crucial to remember that you can free yourself from whatever restrictions are holding you back at any time you choose to do so. So you could have the feelings that you're not in control of your life. Just know that sometimes this will happen as a result of your own actions, but more often as a byproduct of no action. So take action. Take whatever steps you can to give yourself the feeling, however slight, of being in control. Even if it's merely a choice on what you're going to have for dinner. Small steps, they're important too. So that's what the devil card is about. Like I said, um, you see them as having some uh, devil energy. Addictions, greed, envy, materialism, sexual lust, obsession. Uh, they drink too much, smoke too much. Devil energy is a troll. That's the one example. Trolls, they, they bother people, harass people who have never done anything to them. That's devil energy. So, that's how you see them. But you see them wanting to secure and have success with you. But they got addictions. So, let's move on over and let's take a look at why it's happening. We got the High Priestess and the Queen of Swords. Now, the High Priestess, 
is a beautiful card. It could have some spiritual. Um, it's a very spiritual card. It can be. Um, spiritual card with sexual overtones. Put it that way. Because it can mean that you're in a phase where you're much more physically attractive to others. So this card is tied to the moon, to femininity, to inspiration. It's a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. So it's important for you to pay attention to your dreams right now. If you keep a dream diary, it's a good idea. So for you or your person, Aquarius, it, it could feel like a mystical time. Yeah. Or you just feel really intuitive. Um, there's a lot of attraction here. You could be a deeply attracted to your person. Because the high priestess, like I said, people are drawn to the high priestess. They come across that... Uh, the high priest, priestess comes across as mysterious. Um, they, they sit pretty. They're sitting pretty. That's how people see them. They're cookie. They can be quiet types. They pull back their energy. They're wise. So someone has... Uh, you could be really attracted to your person. Or... They could be really attracted to you. Now, it's with the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, it points to someone who's not to be trifled with. Or it can point to a need for you to be forceful and honest in some situation. Just, get, just to get your needs met. So you may need to put your foot down. It's showing that your instincts, they're serving you well. You already know what it is you want and need. Now you just have to go after it. This Queen of Swords is a very forceful energy. And some people find it really abrasive. Or they find this energy abrasive, abrasive and harsh. So, basically, this reading is kind of scattered. I know. I know it is. But... Let's recap it now so that we can get the complete picture. Complete picture. So, Aquarius, for the present time, we talked about this, this new love, or just a rebonding of the connection that you're in. And if it's a new love, or if, or if it's a love that you're already with, you get some type of new beginning. Great new beginnings here with this Ace of Wands. And it feels great. Because you got two Aces here. Very powerful. Powerful cards in the tarot. Now your person, they see you as different. They see you as changing. Deep transformation. Or you're just wanting deep transformation in this connection. Or you, you just want some serious change to go on with you and your person. They could be seeing you that way. So that the connection can be more balanced. And that's what they see you wanting to do or that's what they see you doing. You're changing or you want deep change. Just to bring balance. Because they see you thinking it's off. So, you see them as wanting success. They want success here with that King of Pentacles. They want success with you. But they got issues. They got devil energy. They got addictions. That's how you see them. Now, why it's happening? Because your person is really attracted to you, Aquarius. They find you very attractive. They like that you're wise and you're smart. Or this could be you feeling that way about your person. 
but they see that you're about to put your foot down with the Queen of Swords. And yeah, Queen of Swords, the, put, the Queen of Swords puts her foot down and she becomes very forceful, cold, abrasive. And it looks like you're just, you're changing and you're transforming or you want change in this, you want deep change in this connection. And it's pro picking up, it's probably because you want to cut out the devil energy. You want to cut out the addictions because you know this connection, it needs balance. Yeah, it needs to undergo deep change so that you guys can have this new beginning. And if this new beginning, this Ace of Cups, is not with the person you're with, it could be with someone else. Because the Queen of Swords is here. It's showing that you could, you could actually, you might be thinking of cutting out this connection. Or cutting out, you could be thinking about cutting out your person who has this devil energy. Because you're looking for deep change. Because there could be a lot of people attracted to you. Other than just your person. With the high priestess sitting up there. And you could know that you have new beginnings waiting for you. So this reading can go a few different ways. There could be a few different scenarios here. But it's basically focused on this death card and the devil card. Because right now you're dealing with someone who has addictions and you could be changing or you want deep change in this connection. And it looks like if you don't get it, you could move on to some new beginnings because you got a lot of other people attracted to you and want to get to know you. Or you could stay in this connection, you could pull out the sword, which is what the queen does, and you help this person cut out a lot of devil energy. Or you could give them ultimatums. The Queen of Swords, they do forceful things. You could give your person ultimatums and try to get this deep transformation and change and it brings you to, it keeps you two together. And it feels like a new beginning with your person. So, I hope that makes sense. Because this reading, it can go quite a few different ways. It's not just one way here. But, like I said, either way it goes, it looks like you got great new beginnings. Either new love, because you got a lot of people finding you attractive. And you cut out this person. Or, you, like I said, or you stay with your person and you become more forceful with this person. With this Queen of Swords. And... You, you could undergo a new beginning with them, beginning with them, beginning with them.